Ducky Ducky, welcome back. It's time for a game of fill in the blank. We have help today from Leanne Howard of London. Thank you for being here, Leanne. What is up first? Coal companies owned by a former UK trustee owe more than $2 million to his home county of Martin, which has struggled to fund basic services in recent years. Mary Jo and Drew, this news about seven companies connected to James Booth is what? Troubling. They don't have clean water in Martin County. I would imagine this money could go towards that. Yeah, of the 120 counties, that's probably first in the one that needed the money the most. And to hear that this guy's not paying up, and there's others in that area really affecting those counties that have tax bills due. So Absolutely. Start Pay paying your money. tab. All right, Leanne, what's next? School leaders in Louisville are investigating complaints from parents who say their kids were left to find their own way home because of their school bus was overloaded. This story is what? Uh, this is really sad and scary. How, how is that happening? Well, why would there be that many more kids on this one bus in one day? I don't, I don't understand that. There has to be a plan or another option yes. for when this does happen. You don't say, hey, kid, you know, good luck. Yeah, find Go your, find way your way. This neighborhood looks rough, but good luck to you. No, you can't do that. Yeah, can't you Uber? Got to be a backup plan for this. Unbelievable. All right, Leanne, what's next? A judge who has ruled against Governor Bevan in the past gave him a court victory last week ruling that Bevan's office had the authority to fire Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton's staff without her authorization. Yeah, this is, you know, one of those things. I, I do think he probably, I have to agree with the judge. It may not look good. A lot of things Bevan does don't look good, but he had the right. Yeah, good for him for getting that W after he held that big L on Saturday <laughs> in the debate. So he did get one win here recently. All right, Leanne, what's next? A Berea man who ran a write-in campaign for governor in 2015 has been approved to do the same in 2019. This news about Blackie effing white is what? Well, I just got to make sure that when I write him in, I have the two eyes, right? Because it won't, uh, I got to spell it correctly. You know, I wouldn't mock this guy, but what are his thoughts on the pension? Should we consider him? Right. Is, he, is he a decent option? I don't know. I'm still yeah. looking for one. What is happening with the effing this pension? Guy, I don't know. Let's, maybe let's maybe ask him. this guy should be considered. All right, Leanne, what's next? A new TV series called United Tacos of America recently featured an episode from Kentucky, including a visit to a Mexican restaurant on Alexandria Drive in Lexington. This national exposure for the bluegrass was what? Deserved, because I know the restaurant they're talking about, and they got some pretty good burritos, but no show would be complete without Taco John's. I hope they at least visited a Taco John somewhere. Just mad I wasn't invited. I live up and down Alexandria Drive, eating at all those places over there. I, I know which one. Alexandria, I assume, is the one they went to, but just mad I didn't get the invite, really. Yeah. Looks some, good. Some good, ta any, anything taco is good. All right, Leanne, what's next? A bourbon industry expert and author of the annual best-selling Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible has awarded three of his top accolades for the best whiskeys of the year to a company with distilleries here in the bluegrass. Mary Jo and Drew, this triple crown for Kentucky spirits is what? Uh, duh. Should, I mean, wouldn't, wouldn't all of the top ones come from here? I would think so, but coming off the taco talk, now you're putting bourbon in my face. I think I have my Monday <laughs> evening filled out. I be, right. know where I'm going after this. Can we talk gambling? Is gambling <laughs> yeah. next? What a, I think we already hit that. Oh, okay, good. All Fun right. Fun show. <laughs> Leanne, what's next? And finally, two UK students have been named as under 30 scholars by Forbes magazine, being considered among the world's best and boldest young leaders, creators, and thinkers. This news about Ryan Page and Carlos Lewis is what? So cool. Um, I love to see young people highlighted and students at UK especially. And I, I think this is awesome. Kudos to them. Yeah, I'm sure they're gonna go on to do wonderful things and represent UK well, so good for them. All right. Keep working hard. Big thanks to Leanne for pitching in tonight. Thank you. You did awesome. <laughs> you shouldn't have been nervous. You did awesome. Tonight's wrap up is next as Hey Kentucky continues.